Hello everybody, welcome back to another video here on the channel. So we're going to do another pro product review and this is the Harbinger V2 315 um, loudspeaker. So yeah, I've had this for like over a year. Um, got it last September I think off a of musician's friend and it's been pretty good. So I'm going to show you actually where I got it um, on, the, on the computer. Here's the website. It's from musician's friend. They have other people that are selling it obviously. You can get it from Guitar Center. Um, you can get it from musician's friend. You can get it from musician's friend again um, Walmart there has it so this is the 15 inch version um, the 15 inch subwoofer is what I have and here's just a few specs on it um, it's um, a active not passive um, speaker it's two-way low frequency driver is 15 inches and then the uh, middle frequency and high frequency well high frequency is not specified Middle frequency is not applicable. Um, wattage is max 2000 watts, and it does have a mixer and preamp. Um, the frequency response is from 40 hertz to 20 kilohertz, and it's got these inputs right here 3 XLR, 4 TRS, and then none of these on here. And then one output, which is XLR, and then none of those. Weighs 41 pounds, those are dimensions, and the price is $324.99 save $75 right now um, and then this one right here is just the well that's the 12 inch version this one right here is just the um, newer version of that uh, it's got like DPS control and all that on the back um, not the one I have but I'm sure it's even better and then here's like a competitor the Alto they're good and I'm sure Electro Voice and all those are on there but those are out of this price range Okay, um, on the back, I'll show you real quick what you got back here, even though you see it on picture. Um, you got some voicings controls, that's for like performances, like actually singing through it, I think. Um, and then you got your channel controls right here. Channel 3 is Bluetooth, and, all, and the uh, left and right um, channels for your sound. And then you got bass and treble. And then you got your inputs and all of that. Okay, so I'm going to be playing some copyright free music as I'm sure YouTube will probably try to do something about copyright. Um, we used this all Barchi band season this year um, for the vocals in our show to play them for, you know, people sitting in the stands and it was perfectly um, heard, like it was plenty loud. We didn't even probably come close to even using all the power it has. So yeah, this is what I'm going to be using right here. Let me just throw that text away. Um, it's my 1261 clan. It's called Best Copyright Free Music. Um, I was going to play a real song, but then, you know, I figured sometimes YouTube go ahead and puts it from, puts what it is in there, and sometimes they don't. So I'll just play this. Um, I don't have any, like, bass settings. I mean, the, other than back there, um, I do use a power amp. I, I do use power amp equalizer for my songs, but this is not going to be equalized. This is coming straight from YouTube from this song right here. Um, if you, you know, use a mixer, you can really change the way it sounds. Um, like my power amp is like this. And I got like 28 channels or so. It's quite a few. But yeah, and my bass settings. If you use that, you can get a lot more out of it. But this is just straight how it is. So I'm going to be playing this for a couple, I mean like, I don't know how long, but it'll be a little bit. And then uh, I'll show you what it sounds like. about like half the volume on my phone. It's not turned up that loud in the back of the speaker. Um, and I will turn it up a little bit louder. I won't turn it up all the way because the three people out in the house, but yeah. I will turn it up a little bit more. Here we go, here we go again. Trying hard, but you wanna be my friend. It's kinda how the vocals are on this. In a place to hide, in a one to run to. Here we go, here we go again. I'm a bluff, I'm a beer to the end I'm the one you ride, I'm the one you ride to If you don't wanna change In a place to hide And I'll move where I am Just so you can see how the sound changes from my positioning
Okay, so that should probably give you a pretty good um, idea of what it sounds like. I'm just recording on um, a little Canon camera, so, you know, the microphone's not going to be the best. Um, this is really the best kind of situation I can give you for what it sounds like. Um, it sounds better in person, obviously. And if you know how sound works, it b bounces and reflects off of objects, so you can be in certain uh, spots to hear more bass. Um, and all that, but this should give you a decent understanding. Um, you know, obviously this thing has a lot of bass. I don't even have, I had the bass turned up a little bit past halfway. Um, it's really powerful. It's got a lot of bass, a lot of power, and sounds pretty good, I think. So I would definitely recommend it. Um, it the, on the site, it's got 12 reviews of four and a half stars. Um, what I would really say for my review, like people say, it's underrated, which I do believe that to be true. Um, and some things I really say or see about it is, like I said, much better quality than I expected. Some people had it stop working after two months. But mine's been working pretty good. Harbinger seems like a pretty good brand. And I would recommend them. So, yeah, the price I don't think is bad. A lot of power here, a lot of sound. Sounds really good. So, yeah, if you have anything to say about it, comments or questions in it. I'll probably be able to answer it because I've been using it for a year. Um, I've never used an instrument or anything like that on it, so I don't know how that would go. Maybe one day I will, but yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll see y'all later. Thanks. Take care. That was cringy.